Hey there guys, um, in this video I'm going to show you what you should do for your daily hamster routine. Um, so without any further ado, let's get started. Um, what you should do first is, let me bring the camera down here. What you should do first is, sorry that was my sister. You should look inside their cage and make sure there are no, like, little, uh, holes, like, where you can see the ground at. Like that. You should make sure there's none of those. If there is, you need to cover them back up. You should always, um... Make every day, every single day, take their food dish out. Uh, I always do mine at night because hamsters are nocturnal and they sleep during the day. But uh, this is that rare occasion. Let me, man, why can't there? As you can see, he's eaten a lot of his food. Mine is a Chinese dwarf hamster, so I don't give him too much food. But uh, you should change their food every day and their water every two. Don't go more than five days without changing their water. Um, and if you have a Critter Universe cage, the new habitat, it comes with the wheel, the, I mean the uh, starter habitat, it comes with a wheel. Um, it has no holes, so if your hamster doesn't have like a peeing or pooping spot, mine, mine hamster, his peeing and pooping spot, is all or, like not necessarily all around his cage but where he poops and pees the most or urinates at the most is um in his wheel so you don't want to go more than five days without cleaning their wheel either because it gets all nasty um and if you have a starter habitat also my hamster didn't like the way it hung from the ceiling this little nest thing it came with so I just um, took the chain off of it and sat it down so he could rest in it. But he still doesn't. But uh, it's really good for your hamster to chew on. You want to make sure that that's like, uh, this is just something I like, guess made up. But I um, want to just make sure it's secure. So maybe they can climb in and out of it easily. Um, yeah. And you also, you want to make sure, you want to take your hamster out of its cage. Come here, buddy. Come here. Be very gentle. Very gentle. Especially if it's a dwarf hamster. I'm sorry. And you want to look at him. You want to make sure, you want to put him down on the ground like this. And you want to make sure he doesn't, other than his little shoulder blades, you want to make sure that he doesn't have like a hunched back. Um, and you want to make sure that um, he doesn't have anything wet on his tail. And if he has like a lot of wet stuff on his tail, like a lot, and it looks like poop, you need to take him to see a vet because that's wet tail. And wet tail is when they, I know it's nasty, but it's when they have diarrhea and um, is when they diarrhea so much they get dehydrated and if they get dehydrated too much there's the baby his name's Mossflower uh, if they get too dehydrated basically they poop until they're dehydrated and that's how they die if it goes untreated for within seven hours they will die so you always want to make sure to keep them not nervous and always make sure oh there he goes and his little nest always make sure um always uh make sure that <sighs> what am i trying to say here always make sure that he doesn't um you don't wake them up during a deep sleep you can wake them up but it does stress them out a little bit but if you wake them up in a deep sleep that will stress them out stress them out to a very certain point to where 
they could get so nervous that they start diarrheaing on themselves. So that's why it's important when you bring your hamster home for the first time and you're holding him in the car, in the box, it's important that you keep the box as steady as you can and if you're moving his cage around, keep it as steady as you can. Also, if you're, um, if you're going to, um, buy a new hamster it's good to wait at least five days before handling them and even then at five days um, it's still a little iffy if your hamster is comfortable enough within five days you can try and pick them up but do not pick them up within the first day um, the first couple of days like first two or three days two days yeah three days first three days you should make sure that your hamster is um, you just talk to it, get them used to what you're, um, get them used to your t uh, tone, and get them used to your scent, because they can smell your scent very easily. So uh, that's another thing that you shouldn't do, because that can cause wet tail if you pick them up too early. And one more thing. You can pet them if they're comfortable with it. You can pet them within three days. That's what I did, but mine was comfortable with it. Within five days, I had him in my hands. Okay, so the fifth day that I had him, I, t I picked him up very, very gently, and I held him. Now, Chinese dwarf hamsters, you can get them at PetSmart, and they're very friendly. Syrian hamster, like mine has never bitten me. He's tried to nibble me once and that was only because it was the first time I had pet him. But um, other than that, Chinese dwarf hamsters are very, very nice. They're nicer than Russian dwarfs and robo hamsters. Um, Russian winter white dwarfs and robo hamsters and all that. Uh, if you're planning on getting a regular sized hamster um, and it's gonna be a long haired hamster, make sure you have like a toothbrush for them and change the toothbrush every two months and the toothbrush is to comb their long hair out make sure you do that at least every day too so every two months change that toothbrush if you have a long haired hamster um that's about it um i will have another video up today on how to assemble your critter universe starter habitat so have a great day and thank you guys for watching catch you guys next time on deborah carson's channel sorry video rate oh yeah video rate and subscribe if you want to and if you don't that's okay sorry if this video is too long and sorry if i talk too much but uh that's just my personality so thank you guys for watching, uh, video rate and subscribe if you want to, and be nice with your comments if you leave a comment. Thank you guys for watching, see you guys next time on Dare Refreshing's channel.